NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami tells us a large portion of today's budget hearing was dedicated to addressing rail safety. Natalie? That's right. There are a few amendments being considered within the transportation budget to try and mitigate what happened in East Palestine from ever occurring again. Lawmakers say these are necessary changes. We got broad support across party lines to get this done. The train derailment in East Palestine calling lawmakers to action. One amendment in the transportation budget will require the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio and Ohio Department of Transportation to make sure wayside detection systems that alert conductors of defects are operational. Seems like with advances in technology, the rails kind of stayed stagnant. So um, we've got to take a good look at that. We put some legislation in there. Making sure that, you know, when there are issues, uh, um, with, you know, uh, our rail that individuals know what's happening and could interact immediately because those seconds count. On Tuesday in Finance Committee, people who work in the railway industry testified, and they say right now there's no regulation for wayside detectors. When those were first implemented, any defect, no matter how small, would set off the alarm to stop and inspect it. But now there are algorithms that stall the alarm until there's a major issue. We think about what does it mean to have an on-demand system? Literally, it means the difference between lives lost and lives saved. Another amendment being considered would mandate that a train must have at least a two person crew. Right now, there's no regulation for the number of crew members. Having more than one person on uh, the, the rail system is, is, is incredibly important because we know having that team, it makes a difference. The Finance Committee also heard testimony from transit authorities all over the state. For more on that, you can visit NBC4i.com. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4.